maybe not, but. <laughs> okay, so the next question is, are you and college clean eating girl dating? <laughs> So right now I am standing in a random alley right now near our house because Katrina is home, but I just had this spur of the moment feeling of just wanting to get my emotions out and just you know record how I'm feeling right now before I propose so that I could show Katrina this. Hi Katrina. And you know, show our family one day after I do do the proposal Sunday of this week, which is five days away. And I'm just feeling so I can't even put it into words how excited I am to you know, propose to Katrina, make it a beautiful proposal, and just, yeah, have that moment with her in five days. So a little backstory. We're going back to New Jersey for 4th of July. Her parents are coming to stay with us, and she has absolutely no idea, but her sister and her sister's boyfriend, Louis, who we love very much, and also her grandparents are also gonna be in Jersey to surprise Katrina when we come back to our Airbnb. She's gonna think it's just her parents there, but in reality, her entire family is gonna be there. She has absolutely no idea. Family is something that's really important to her. And so, you know, having everyone come down was really important to me to make sure that happened. Uh, and I'm super excited to see the look on her face. I'm gonna to try to record that look on her face when she sees her whole family, but yeah, I am just, a little bit nervous because I'm worried that when I do it, I'm not gonna be, like say the right thing, even though I've been practicing it in my head like 20 times. I've, I've said, what am I gonna say? And then I practice it, but I feel like I'm gonna lose it when I actually propose, I'm gonna be so emotional. Um, but anyways, we're gonna be going to New Jersey Friday of this week, so like three days from now, I'm gonna be proposing Sunday, and I just wanted to kind of record this little clip for the memories, and I wanted to say that, you know, Katrina, you are my best friend, you are the love of my life, and you know that already, but yeah, you deserve the world and I'm going to give it to you, so hopefully this proposal lives up to those expectations. That's how I'm feeling, I'm excited, I'm nervous, just because I want to be special and perfect for her, and yeah, she's going to think I'm just vlogging. Oh, I'm just vlogging a little Jersey trip, because I also do YouTube, but in reality, this is an engagement vlog, baby. So sit tight, enjoy the video. Hey, Trine, where are we going right now? Jersey. Really? Well, why is Jersey Jer sure. Why does Jersey have significance in our relationship? It's where you're from. No, but what else happened there? That was the first thing that happened in our relationship. The first time we did something. Nope. That's right. The first time I said I love you. Also, Trine. I love you so much. <laughs> I, brought, I lied to you. I brought you here because I know that the beach is your favorite place. And I keep looking at me. I wanted to tell you that, you know, you're my best friend in the entire world. <laughs> I love you so much. Will you marry me? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> I love you so much. <laughs> oh my god. Come here. You wanna put it on? Do you like the ring? Huh? <laughs> I'm like shaking. Which way? Is this the left hand? No, I don't know. Wait, which one is your left hand? This one. Is it fit? You like it? Mm -hmm. Also, look. Hello, my fiance. Uh,
We're back. We're here. We're back. We're with here. Another story. Actually, we've never told a story. So. <laughs> um. Wait. What are we talking about? We're talking about our engagement. What are we talking about? Yeah, we are talking about at the Jersey Shore. Right? We're at the Jersey Shore, bitch. <laughs> anyway, I'm a fiance. Hell fucking yeah. I'm also a fiance, but. No ring. Men don't get any fucking ring. Yeah, what the hell is that about? Actually, well, we do want to get him a ring, though. <laughs> that was yeah. funny. Anyway, so this is our engagement story. We're so excited to share with you guys. And just keep all the, the stuff The best day up of my life Aww. so far. Really? So Besides far? Besides the day. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, it was, the best. it was honestly the best day of my life. I was so nervous. It was so nervous. So basically, the story <laughs> goes. So, well, I guess you can explain the story, yeah. how you planned it. Well, yeah, so essentially what happened was Katrina and I have been talking about getting married for a really long time. I feel like we definitely have known we wanted to get married from very early on in our relationship because, you know, we just clicked so well. We're, we've been, like, best friends at, like, ever since we were, ever since, like, a month into us being together. Sorry, if that is a little bit loud, it's just not we ideal. Don't know what that is. But I'm going to talk a little louder. But anyway, yeah, so, like, we were best friends and, like, we definitely knew. And, you know, it was getting to the point where recently, you know, we started really talking about marriage, like looking at wedding venues. We got Katrina's, you know, finger size and everything. And so, yeah, like it was just at that point where I was totally ready to, you know, we were ready to get engaged. We're ready to, you know, uh, plan a wedding and all that stuff. So, you know, she knew it was coming soon. And I, she also knows that I know that she wants her family there. So she thought that, you know, I was going to propose to her at the end of August, I think. Yeah, Is that true? Yeah, she thought that because a lot of her family, her parents, basically actually just her parents and her sister. So her <laughs> parents and her sister were going to be up there in uh, Virginia at Lake Anna, and that's where you know she thought that I was going to do it. I decided I didn't want to. I didn't want it to be super obvious, and I knew that she, you know, would never think that I was going to do it here because she didn't think her grandparents were going to be here. And also, we made up a whole story about where her sister was going to be. Like her sister said she was going camping for Fourth of July and all this stuff. <laughs> So yeah, we basically completely blindsided her and she just did not think that it was going to happen. And what happened is the night before, I had a certain day planned because the day that I had planned to do it, or the morning of, I was really adamant about doing it because I knew that her grandparents were here, her sister was here, and we wanted to spend, I wanted to spend maximal time with them and have Katrina spend maximal time with them. So I didn't want to like push it off or anything. And the night before, Katrina was just so adamant about spending like four hours watching Stranger Things with her parents. And we so, had to finish season and so we five, love, yeah, two. We love Stranger Things, but, you know, we're watching Stranger Things. It's like 2.30 a.m. We have to get up for the sunset at like 5 a.m. Sunrise. Sunrise, sorry. I always say sunset. So essentially, <laughs> Katrina, you know, I wake her up, and I think that one, when I woke you up and I actually got you down there at the beach, um, because I told her we were going to go for like a little sunrise walk, I think that once we got down there and she realized that, you know, it was not like me to only get two hours of sleep and still wake <laughs> up. And then also, you know, I was acting a little bit weird, I feel Super like, weird. because I was very nervous, um, you know, right like before the proposal. And so, yeah, I brought her down there and I, and I obviously I did and I proposed to her, but like, I just, I never thought that I was going to be nervous at all because it's like, she's the love of my life. Like, it's not, you know, I wasn't worried about, you know, not knowing if I wanted to be with her at any point. It was more so, yeah, I just... So I wasn't nervous. I'm like, oh, it's gonna be easy. Like she's my best friend. And then I just, as soon as it happened, I completely froze up. And I, you know, I had this whole skit planned. Like I was gonna say, the reason why I brought you down here on the beach during sunrise is because it symbolizes, you know, our new relationship together. And I was gonna just say like how much I love you and all these different things. But you know, it didn't really come out that way because <laughs> I freaked out, got nervous, and you guys saw heard what I said. So you guys already know what I said. Yeah. But but he was if you. I know but I did him so it. I well did it. that I knew like as soon I did it. <laughs> as soon as I did not expect it until he opened his mouth and he go <laughs> number one he was like texting because I guess your friend Dave was trying to tell you where to stand because he was filming you and I was like who the fuck is he texting at five in the morning but um, then he was like look at that and I looked and then I turn over and he's just like on one knee so it was like and then she got on one knee with me and I was like <laughs> what's happening right now <laughs> because it was like I had no, I always, you know, you have in your head how you're going to react maybe during a proposal. And I was, number one, I was like half asleep, but I was completely in shock. And then I think like it started hitting me. Like I remember I'd be like, 
and I was like, oh my god, it's fucking happening, and then I like got down because I was like, in, I was just in shock. She fainted and I fell fainted. off the rock. No. <laughs> But no, yeah, actually, it, it was honestly a really beautiful moment for us. And then afterwards, we like shared words together. It was amazing. We'll always cherish it. So. What's no? I forgot. What's funny is, <laughs> right, and he, um, I guess you had your, you had your phone on, like as a mic. Yeah, I had my phone as a microphone so I could record my audio. And I, I don't know if Dave, I don't know if you turned your phone on at that point, but before he proposed. I don't know what happened like the night before what I ate, but oh, I like had to shit my pants. She was like, I'm gonna shit myself. I, I, I was literally, like, before he froze, uh, minute, like seconds before he froze, I was like, I really gotta like, I feel like I'm gonna shit my pants. I was like, like I, I know she really was probably gonna shit her pants from experience, so I was like, oh no, I, I have to get on one knee and do this right now. I don't know where the, I guess like the shock just took it away, but it completely was fine it after sucked. that. It sucked, you were gophering it. Stop that <laughs> fucking term. Anyway, so it was just an insane moment and seeing my grandma there afterwards, I mean, it, as you can see in the video, I lost my mind, so it was just so beautiful. But the most special thing was a couple days after I walked down to where he proposed, and it was just the most surreal moment because I remember years of my life and my mom talking, my sister talking to me saying, you know, I don't know if you're ever gonna be able to break these cycles. Like, I knew my mom, like truly at that point in my life, like did not know or have hope that maybe I could have a healthy, stable relationship or someone that sees and accepts me for everything I am. So it was just such a surreal moment. I remember saying to myself like, Thank you. Thank you for fighting and thank you for knowing you are worthy and worth it. And that's a message that I want to bring to you guys all the time and here today. And Worthy for me. No, worthy for me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but it was, um, it was just the most beautiful, surreal moment. And it was, I just wanted to hug my past self and say like, I just wanted to thank her for looking in the mirror and saying one day, like, keep fighting, keep fighting, because there are many days I didn't want to fight. Yeah, I didn't want to fight. Yeah. And it was just beautiful, so. Oh, thank you. Young little Katrina. <laughs> but um, we are now in the wedding planning stages, so we're going to take you along in a couple of videos from now to show one of the venues that we're 99% sure we're going to go Don't with. Don't say where it is or anything. I won't say where it is. Okay. But um, it'll be a little surprise, but I'm excited for you guys to give your input on, I love super intimate, like special details. And like, that's just my favorite thing ever. Like when it comes to gifts, I'll take an experience and special thing all day over. Yeah. I don't care about how much you spend, a purse, whatever the fuck it was, but I do like this ring now. But you Which I am now bankrupt because of, however, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but um, <laughs> yeah, so if you guys have any little Anything you guys want to share about making the wedding planning process easy or things you guys did, we do want to include our cats. That's a very big thing for us to make it special to include the cats. Yeah. So let us know on that. And we think we want to do it with the cocktails because that'd be fun. Oh yeah. There, there's a lot of really fun ways we could probably incorporate the cats, but yeah, it's going to be very special, the wedding. I mean, you know, we're super excited to like plan it. I mean, her mom's like really excited to help us plan it and everything. So I know yeah. like the day it happened the whole time she was just like, so what are we going to do for the bridal shower and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so and it's going to be, it's going to be go. awesome. I'm, I'm like, that'll be a banger video, uh, like that we can film, like to have that for like that memory. That's going to be the coolest YouTube video ever. <laughs> it is really special to like have these moments. I'm smoking just a cigar and I, at my I actually wedding. love cigar at the wedding. Go for it. I actually love. Oh, it's on camera. I love. She hates the cigars. Um, <laughs> his that he started YouTube really young, because it's really special to be when able I was to watch. 10. No, you started it when you were like. 16? No, I was like yeah, I was like 17, 18. 17. But it's really special to see like his old yeah. videos, and I love because I get to like n even before I met him, I get to watch his videos and like see your progression of how you grew up. It's really special. So yeah, that's what I hope to do on this channel, and I'm so excited for you guys to, like grow up with us it's gonna be really exciting I know but anyways I love you guys thank you guys for the support always and I hope you enjoy this I love little... you guys thank you guys for supporting Katrina always <laughs> and thank you guys for the engage or <laughs> thank, thank you, you guys, guys for the engagement, engagement on this video 20k <laughs> likes baby woo <laughs> yeah. and um yeah I'll see. I'll we'll do that. a couples Q&A on the next one and lots of fun stuff I have lots of fun YouTube uh, stuff coming on I just love doing YouTube but anyway love you guys and oh, see you guys I next was one. not recording I'm kidding oh <laughs> <laughs>